Springfield Township Board of Trustees meeting. It's August 10th, 2021, approximately 5.30 p.m. Mr. Burning, can we have a roll call, please? Yes, Ms. Davis? Present. Mr. Honolol? Present. Mr. Burning? Present. All the trustees are present. If we could all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and we'll let our officers lead us. Now we're going to proceed with a proclamation for Chief Robert Browder of the Springfield Township Police Department. As we all know, this is his last month, and he's going to retire at the end of the month. Chief, congratulations on your retirement. Thank you very much. If we all want to walk around to the front here. Chief, the Springfield Township Board of Trustees presents this proclamation in recognition of Robert Browder's 32 years of service to the Springfield Township Police Department. Whereas Robert Browder began his career in law enforcement in 1986 as a police dispatcher for the city of Sharonville, Ohio, while attending college in the police academy from 1986 until 1989. And whereas Robert Browder began his career with the Springfield Township Police Department in 1989 as a road patrol officer, and whereas early in his career Robert Browder served the Springfield Township Department, Police Department as a canine officer and bike patrol officer, and received the State of Ohio Saved by the Belt Award in 1991 due to serious injuries sustained during an on-duty auto crash, and then shared that message with many children in local schools on the importance of safety belts. And whereas in 1995, Robert Browder was assigned to the vice unit and subsequently assigned to the Drug Abuse Reduction Task Force, working in an undercover capacity as a narcotics enforcement officer through 1998. And whereas Robert Browder served the Township Police Department by excelling in many roles, such as a criminal investigator, certified voice stress analysis examiner, was promoted to sergeant in 2001, assigned to be the detective in charge of criminal investigations, and was promoted in 2002 as the administrative sergeant, and in 2003 was promoted to lieutenant with oversight over the criminal investigations division, as well as accreditation manager, and was promoted to assistant police chief in 2005 and oversaw all department operations. And whereas Robert Browder served the greater Cincinnati area by serving as the Hamilton County Chiefs of Police Treasurer in 2016, the Vice President in 2017, and President in 2018 until 2020. This is getting long, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> and whereas Rob, Robert Browder was promoted to Chief of Police in 2015, where he has successfully managed the Springfield Township Police Department for six years, and ensured the success of the Springfield Township Arrest and Response Team and the Springfield Township Empowering Youth Program. And whereas Robert Browder has demonstrated in a multitude of ways his dedication, perseverance, moral strength, resilience, and betterment of the community through his personal and professional relationships and unwavering concern for the safety of the residents and community of Springfield Township. And now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Springfield Township Board of Trustees of Hamilton County, Ohio, does hereby recognize Robert Browder for his outstanding service to the people of Springfield Township, Hamilton County, and the state of Ohio, and congratulate him upon reaching the milestone of 32 years of public service. And be it further proclaimed that the Springfield Township Board of Trustees hereby proclaims the 31st day of August, 2021, as Chief Robert Browder Day and all of Springfield Township. By order of the Springfield Township Board of Trustees, Hamilton County, Ohio. Before you.
Okay, we, we have one more, and it's not quite as long as uh, the one. You know, we're, we're long-winded, so. Um, this one is from our governor, Mike DeWine, and our lieutenant governor, John Husted, um, the governor and lieutenant governor of the state of Ohio. Do hereby officially recognize Police Chief Robert Browder upon your retirement from the Springfield Township Police Department. On behalf of the state of Ohio, we join with your colleagues in congratulating you on your retirement from the Springfield Township Police Department after 32 years of public service, including six years as a Springfield Township Police Chief. Throughout your career, you have been a tremendous asset to the department, to your coworkers, who have had the opportunity to work beside you and to the community. Your leadership has made Springfield Township what it is today, and I concur with that. Thank you for your dedication. That's not in there. Uh, <laughs> thank, thank you for your dedication and best wishes as you embark upon your well-deserved retirement. On this 31st day of August, 2021, signed Mike DeWine, Governor, and John Husted, Lieutenant Governor. Congratulations. We've had a really good run on uh, short township meetings, so I'm not going to be the guy to screw that up tonight. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've had uh, one heck of a ride here, as you heard. I can't believe that some of the stuff, I've, the opportunities that I've had have been absolutely amazing. Um, when you get into this line of work, you, um, sorry, a second. It's, too, it's hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> You know that you're going to have a lot of sacrifices, but one thing you can't train and prepare for is the sacrifices that your family's going to make. Um, so my beautiful wife, Nicole, here, <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Without you, I wouldn't, wouldn't be here. So, um, you know, I, I often, if you know me well, you know the last person I like to talk about is myself. So struggling here a little bit, but, um, you know, I know I always say corny acronyms that, like, there's no I in team, there's no me and we, and without all of you, I certainly wouldn't be standing here. So I want to thank all the members of our community. I see our some Citizens Police Academy friends here. Really appreciate you. Um, colleagues from, from across, across the country that I've had the honor of working and learning with, but most important, it's along with our administration and, and elected officials, it, it's the support I've had here has been just absolutely incredible. I, I know I wouldn't have that anywhere else in the world. But most of all, I want to thank this group here that I have the honor of walking through the door with each and every day and doing what we do through thick and thin. And you know, we all we all get through it together. So I appreciate you. I love you. Be safe. is one thing I would like to say and as an elected official you know it, for Rob the many years that you've been here in the in the uh, township and a leadership role in the police department it has just been you know for somebody like me I don't have to worry that we're not going to have the kind of leadership that we need and we see all the other problems that other communities have had and I just know with your steady hand and your good judgment we just didn't have those kind of uh, issues in our township and we're blessed we are blessed to have had you as our police chief and uh, the kind of the kind of leadership that you've imparted now onto the, these younger officers is you know the is the department's going to continue and that just means a lot to me as an elected official and to all the citizens and i think it's a huge testament i was trying to look here there's what 25 officers in this room tonight I, I truly appreciate that, and again, with, without them, I certainly wouldn't have 
had any success whatsoever. And you know, one of, one of the things that I've worked really hard at, um, as far as being the chief, is getting our next uh, chief ready, Assistant Chief Bly. And someday he'll tell you about the day I saved his life and broke his nose all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've 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 definitely heard that story. Yeah. But you know, as Township Administrator Rob. We sort of started around the same time here, not clearly as long, but in terms of your assistant role in mine, I've learned a lot from you. Um, you've really taught me a lot about leadership and most of all, friendship. I'm gonna miss you, brother. I, I truly appreciate that. So I'm the newbie here, um, but when I came through the door and, and I met you, Chief, uh, and I found out that you were a Princeton High School alum. I knew I was right where I was supposed to, I was meant to be. Um, but, but your leadership is, as several of, of us have said um, this evening, is reflecting, reflective in your officers. Um, the community, our residents know it, our business um, owners know it here in the township. Um, and we are very fortunate to have you as our chief. Um, and I just wish you the best of luck and don't be a stranger. I won't. I, I, I truly appreciate that. Thank you yeah. so much. I, I know my wife and my kids are going to have to learn a new name now when they see the phone ring at 2 in the morning. It's probably going to say blind instead of Browder. <laughs> but they knew exactly what that meant. When Browder called any time after, say, 6, 7 at night, they usually knew it was something not good. Yeah. So, um, but it, I, to Joe, to echo what you said, Joe, yeah. while I knew it was a serious incident that you guys are dealing with, and sometimes I didn't want to answer the phone and, and, and hear what's on the other end of that. I knew it was being well taken care of under your leadership. So um, I never went to bed at night with any worry that you guys weren't going to be able to handle whatever is thrown at you. And I think that's a testament to your leadership um, and your commitment and your, uh, your dedication to this community. So um, you will be missed, but we'll see each other still. So. I appreciate it. Yeah. We're going to miss you, Chief. I think Rick just, Rick Bly just ran out to buy a bigger pair of shoes. Because he figured out he's got a big pair to fill, so we're going to miss you. Although we'll see you around, it we're going to miss you as our chief, and we appreciate all you've done for us. Thank you. Thank you very much. It seems like the rest of the meeting is going to be boring now. I know. Chief, we, chief, I just wanted to say something on behalf of the whole police department. And it's hard to come up with words, but I think thank you is just everything. I think we could sit here for hours, giving examples and telling stories on. Um, everything you meant, not just to our police department, but to the community of Springfield Township. You've treated us truly like a family. And you, you, say, you say thank you to Nicole, but we thank you uh, for treating us just like your extended family um, and giving us all the opportunities and support that you've given over the years. Um, like I said, everybody here could probably stand up here all night, but uh, thank you and uh, congratulations. Thank you. All right, if we could have the reading of the approval of the minutes. Mark, I don't know if we want to take a brief recess to let people. Okay, leave. we can do that. Take a motion to recess. I'll make we have a motion. A we take a brief recess. If everybody doesn't want to sit here and listen to our <laughs> boring meeting. Do I have a second? Do I have a second? Second. Second. Second motion. We're taking a brief break. So move. Motion to restart the Springfield Township Board of Trustees meeting of so, August the 10th. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting's back on, 550. Mr. Burning, can we have approval of the minutes? Well, I need a motion to approve the minutes. Can we have, a, oh, I thought you were good. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Approval of the minutes. Can we this, have a financial report? Fiscal officer report here, Mr. Burning. For the month ending July 31st, 2021, the township expenditures were, expenditures were $1,803,155.12. The receipts were $608,628.53. The ending cash balance of $22,798,682.51. Includes obligations for expenditures, payroll, regular operating costs, ongoing capital improvement projects, and investments. What I do request from the board is an approval to approve the receipts, warrants, payroll expenditures, update, and current revenue and reports for the period ending July 31st, 2021. Do I have a motion? 
So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. And I want everyone to know that our financial reports are available for viewing at the administration offices weekdays during business hours or on our website 24-7. Thank you, Mr. Burning. Thank you, Mr. Burning. Mr. Gilbert, do you have action and discussion items for us this evening? I do, Mr. Burning. Thank you. The first uh, action item that I have this e evening is a, an agreement with ESO Solutions. They are the software uh, company that provides our medical billing, right? Will. Will provide. Yes. So we are currently with a different company. We're moving to ESO Solutions. Correct. And this agreement will uh, allow us to continue with our medical billing um, services. I'm seeking a motion authorizing the township administrator to execute that agreement pending final legal review. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. The next action item I have is Tom Schneider, our Grove Event Center Director, is seeking uh, a motion to authorize some rate adjustments for the rental of the Grove Banquet Hall. Uh, the new rates will be effective beginning with any uh, rentals executed um, as of October 1st of this year and through 2022 and all and for all of 23 rentals. So just this is what we do periodically just to uh, change rates to be more consistent with what the market is and obviously reflective of the improvements we made to the facility. Do we have a motion? motion. Second. <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. As the board is aware and looking at our discussion items for the past two meetings now, we've discussed that we've been out to seeking requests for proposals from banks to uh, be the township's bank depository. Uh, we received those uh, on the 26th, and we've reviewed the, the proposals by three different banks that, that actually uh, submitted was First Financial, Fifth Third, and Northside Bank, our current depository. After reviewing uh, these submittals, uh, staff is recommending that we continue with Northside Bank. Uh, the, not only did they um, offer the same in terms of, um, from a financial standpoint, free checking and things of that nature, but also the continued flexibility, accessibility, and, and um, just the the opportunity to discuss with the decision makers of the bank and, and getting um, things that the township may need, whether it be through financing or or if we have an issue, to be able to talk to them um, and talk to someone who actually can make a decision um, offered. I think us the the most convenience, I guess, is the best word. Uh, so we would recommend that we continue with Northside Bank, that they continue to still offer us um, not only the best in terms of um, rates and, and, and offerings and services, but also just the convenience factor I think is huge and allows us to be more effective in, in our jobs of delivering services for the township. So you'll see in a resolution um, later on the agenda that uh, we are recommending and, and asking uh, to name Northside Bank as the township bank depository. Laura, I don't know if you want to mention anything. Yeah, I just want to add one thing that uh, we, the township is switching to requiring our bank depository to be in the uh, Ohio pooled uh, collateral program. We had previously required that. There's several options that the township can use to secure the funds that are deposited. Uh, we previously allowed the uh, security method. We're, we're requiring the pooled uh, collateral program at this point. Northside is a participant in that, but they're not yet set up for that. So it is a requirement that they finalize that, but our bidding documents allowed people to apply as long as they were a participant in the program. And they are currently a participant. They just need to set up the electronic and the IT uh, to finalize that. But that is a condition of them being uh, permitted to stay a depository. So we'll need to monitor that to make sure that that, that is completed. Like, yeah, how long will it take for you? They are working with the state of Ohio currently. Yep. The, the, the reason they're not already isn't necessarily just because of Northside Bank. They're, no, it's, it's they're, a, they're, they're going back. They're, there's a period, I think, of between 45 and 60 days where they have to continue to do things back and forth to ensure that electronically that their two systems are talking to each other. So the, the state and the bank are, are in the middle of that process currently. Yeah, it's, it's, 
it's really just a software computer transmission issue. But they are they are eligible because they are in the program. They've been approved to be in the program. I'm not suggesting it's anything to do with them. It's just we have to make sure that that gets finalized. It should be a matter of IT issues. But, right. And I think at this point we're halfway through that. Yeah. And from what I understand, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but it's, this is a pretty standard process that anybody goes through that it takes this long okay. once you get up and running. Next on discussion item is just to let the board know that our IT consultant has uh, listed some obsolete equipment. Um, you have that schedule in front of you. Uh, we are, as you know, required just to notify the board of obsolete um, equipment that we will be disposing of. So you do have that in front of you unless there's any questions. Um, we'll be disposing of that. Next on the agenda, I'll turn Chris, this. Didn't we used to pass a, re have pass a resolution to on CERP? Declaring a surplus and disposing of it. You do a certain based on the value. Based on the value. And this is under yeah. that. This is under that, but we still the board still has to be made aware that we're disposing of it. Correct? Yeah, we have a in our policy over a certain amount. We do individual resolutions, and then for things that are de minimis, you just get notified of what we're disposing of. Like some of them are old monitors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it has no yeah. value yeah. anymore. Yeah. Gotcha. As we're uh, honoring recognitions and accomplishments and years of service, how does it feel, though, Chief, that you're actually a longer employee here than the actual fire department? <laughs> I had a feeling I might hear about this. <laughs> so the fire department's 25 years old, and you've been here seven years longer than the fire department's even existed. Wow, that really puts it in perspective. It, it really does. Yeah. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. Appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chief Leininger? Yes, sir. I just turn it over to you. It's a, it's a huge accomplishment. Obviously, you know, this is Rob Browder's night, but I, I think it, it is and also a testament to your leadership that we're sitting here today 25 years later um, and, you know, a fire department that doesn't have the history that a lot do. Mm -hmm. You guys have accomplished a lot in 25 years. You know, not only with your accreditations, but also being named Ohio Fire Department of the Year and a lot of the other stuff that you've accomplished in 25 years is remarkable. So, well, thank um, you. again, we're blessed with leadership and departments here in the township. Obviously, we're, we're losing one, sort of, um, gaining, obviously, his successor, which I think uh, it will allow us to, to not skip a beat. And, again, that's a testament to your leadership, not as much about his, his attributes. Um, <laughs> but... Chief Leininger, again, I, I think 25 years and everything you've been able to accomplish since the creation of this department, this is truly your fire department. You, you were here when it started. You've led it the entire way. Um, and I think it, it's, it's a better department for it. And I'm going to turn it over to you. Well, thank to, you. To talk about um, you know, it, we've reached that milestone of 25 years. That is a, it gives us an opportunity to celebrate. And when you think about it, we never shut down. I mean, from day one, once we started, we've been in operation 24-7, seven days a week, 365. Uh, we never get to make excuses. You know, we're always there for the community. And, um, you know, a good leader will surround themselves with great people. And, I, you know, there's a testament right here with, with the leadership of Chief Browder. We've had a great relationship, both police and fire. I think that's very unique. Um, when you look at a lot of the police and fire departments, across the United States, they're at odds with, with each other, but not here. I mean, he's my brother and um, we come as a team and we promote safety services. And I'm very proud of that relationship and very proud of this man and his accomplishments as well. Uh, he's a colleague um, and he's my friend. And I, I'm happy for you, Rob, and wish you well. And on, on behalf of all the firefighters, we also wish you well and congratulations. But just wanted to mention that milestone, 25 years. I think it gives us an opportunity to celebrate. I'm very excited about the future, the next 25. Um, we've got some great leadership in, within our department that um, are being um, developed. And so I think we're going to be in really, really good shape. So, uh, but thank you for the recognition tonight. Thank you for your kind words, Mr. Gilbert. And uh, we are having our open house on October the 2nd. And we'll have an opportunity to uh, celebrate our 25-year anniversary at that time and encourage all the residents and uh, 
local business owners to come out and celebrate with us. Do we have an, an exact date? Do we have a date that it was started? That it was started? No. Or the, that or the we, time? No, that the fire department was... Um, was it was September the 1st, September 1st, 1996. Okay, wonderful. Yes. The open house, the time. The open house is from noon until 4. That's at the firehouse here and uh, at our headquarters. And it coincides with the National Fire Prevention Week. Um, we're one of the first departments in the county to celebrate that. And uh, we will be promoting fire safety and giving people an opportunity to see what their tax dollars are spent for. Um, they can come up and see the fire equipment. We'll have live demonstrations throughout the day. They get to tour the firehouse. Uh, we ask that, um, you know, that they they bring their friends and feel free to visit and ask questions because we want to make sure that they're well informed and they see firsthand what their tax dollars are being spent for. So thank you. Thank you, Chief. Thanks, Chief. Looking at the personnel update in the fire department, we have hired two full-time paramedic firefighters, the first being Tristan Coomer, date of hire August 7th of 21, and Robert Hughes, date of hire August 8th of 21. So we welcome them as full-time firefighters. We did have the new hire also of a full-time police officer. That would be James Minery, date of hire August 9th of 21. And in the Public Works Department, we did have the seasonal labor of, of, Kristen, of Kirsten Goldick. Uh, her last date of work was July 16th of 21. And again, I think she's off to the Navy, right? That is correct. Yeah, so we wish her luck in the Navy. And that concludes the personnel update. And I will turn it over now to Kim for Community Events Programs. Thank you. Um, on this Friday, August the 13th, we have a, a movie night. We're doing Scoob on August the 27th. We have a, another movie night. It'll be a last one for the season, and that will be a Disney movie, Brea and the Last Dragon. Both of those events will have family activities starting at 8 o'clock, and then the movies will start at 9 or 9.30. September the 9th, we have our Beers and Gears event with uh, different kinds of classic cars, music, food trucks, um, and September the 16th, we have a dinner theater back at the Art Center. It is Cole Porter Reimagined. And then September the 25th, we have our Community Shred Day that is run by the police department from 9 to noon back in the parking lot. Thanks, Kim. Appreciate it. With that, the board has copies of the departmental activity reports, so unless there are any questions of those, that concludes my report. Other than I will remind Mr. President Burning, we do have an additional and late added resolution 84 you have in front of you. So. <clears throat> Perfect. That concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. Gilbert. Our resolutions tonight. First, we have resolution number 77, 2021 declaring motor vehicles located on public or private property in Springfield Township, Hamilton County, Ohio, to be junk motor vehicles pursuant to revised code 505.173 and ordering the removal of such vehicles pursuant to resolution number 80-2012 and revised code 505.871. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Ms. Davis. Aye. Mr. Harnelow. Aye. Mr. Berman. Aye. Resolution carries. Next is resolution number 78, 2021, establishing, a, establishing assessment for removal of junk motor vehicles pursuant to revised code 505.871 and resolution number 80, 2012, and certifying same to the Hamilton County Auditor. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Ms. Davis. Aye. Mr. Arnelow. Aye. Mr. Burning. Aye. Resolution carries. Next is resolution number 79, 2021, establishing special revenue fund number 2274 for local fiscal recovery fund and revenue. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Ms. Davis. Aye. Mr. Honolong. Aye. Mr. Burney. Aye. Resolution carries. Res Next is resolution number 80, 2021, designating financial institution as public depository. Do we have a motion? So moved. 
Second. Ms. Davis. Aye. Mr. Honolo. Aye. Mr. Burney. Aye. Resolution carries. Next is resolution number 81, 2021, declaring nuisances pursuant to Ohio Revised Code section 505.87 at various listed properties within Springfield Township and authorizing statutory actions necessary to abate the nuisances. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Ms. Davis. Aye. Mr. Honolo. Aye. Mr. Burney. Aye. Resolution carries. Next is resolution number 82, 2021, establishing assessment for abatement of nuisance and certifying same to the Hamilton County Auditor. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Ms. Davis. Aye. Mr. Honolo. Aye. Mr. Burning. Aye. Resolution carries. Next is resolution number 83, 2021, resolution authorizing issuance and sale of not to exceed $825,000 Building Acquisition Special Obligation Bonds, Series 2021, and declaring an emergency. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Ms. Davis. Aye. Mr. Honolo. Aye. Mr. Burney. Aye. Resolution carries. Next, we have Resolution 84, 2021, an emergency resolution to accept the material terms of the one Ohio subdivision settlement pursuant to the one Ohio Memorandum of Understanding and consistent with the terms of the July 21st, 2021 National Opioid Settlement Agreement. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Ms. Davis. Aye. Mr. Harlow. Aye. Mr. Burning. Aye. Resolution carries. Okay, next, do we have any old business before the board? I don't have any this evening. New business? Not this evening. Not this evening. Next is citizens' participation. If you could give us your name and address and step to the podium, we'd be happy to hear what you have to say. Or if you don't, if you don't have to. Oh, I'd just like to say congratulations to Chief and uh, hope you enjoy your retirement. Uh, the department will never be the same without you. And I'm sure we will, uh, you have a lot of tough shoes to follow, but you never know how to make someone's journey to you follow your shoes. But, you have a great success that's coming behind you, and I just want to thank you for your leadership, your guys, and also uh, the respect that you gave my daughter and some things that were going to write about the bugs and that sort of thing, but I really do appreciate you. So I have you had heard. a piece of paper, so I thought you wanted to say something. Well, a piece of paper, Resolution 84 wasn't on there, so I just thought she was making it up. It was, a, it was added right at the end. Okay. So. With nothing else before the board, I would like to make, ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned. adjourned. All right. Thank you all. For